Hello everyone, Brett McCray here with your latest Farm and Ranch news. It's been a busy few weeks for the Montana Stock Growers Association. Right now, leadership and staff are in D.C. They are, have met with our representatives in Washington discussing farm bill priorities and other ag issues and attended the Public Land Councils and the National Cattlemen's Beef Association's legislative conferences. Stock growers leadership even met with BLM Director Tracy Stone Manning. MSGA President John Grandy told us that members were able to express their concerns with recent actions from the agency in that meeting. Conservation is a part of grazing. Conservation is a part of forestry. It is not an independent thing. And when you look at conservation as an exclusive use on its own, separate from grazing or forestry or other multiple uses, we have a problem with that. The next rollover auction benefiting Montana stock growers' appeal of the BLM's decision on American Prairie's allotments in Phillips County is next week at Western Livestock Auction in Great Falls. The Association of Equipment Manufacturers is asking lawmakers to bolster American competitiveness in its industry. AEM is calling on legislators to address priorities such as boosting domestic energy production and more efficiently funding infrastructure needed to build equipment in the United States. Another major priority is passing a farm bill this year. Back in an hour with your markets. We asked Montana farmer Walt Sales about the challenges of mental health in agriculture. Another drought, there always is. There's always going to be another something. I grew up in a generation of you pulled yourself up by your bootstraps. But it's become evident is what do you do if you can't even find those bootstraps? If you need to talk to somebody, go to beyondtheweather.com for free counseling for Montana ag producers. Hello everyone, Brett McRae back with more Ag News and your markets. Cattle Facts estimates that hay production in the U.S. could increase 7% compared to last year. This prediction based on USDA's prospective planning report would put all the hay put up in the U.S. at 120.3 million tons. The market analysis company says that ongoing liquidation in the cattle industry coupled with drought relief in parts of the country will move the average U.S. all hay price towards $210 a ton by the fourth quarter of 2023. Cattle Facts says that next winter in purchasers of hay should see some price relief compared to a year ago. The cattle market shook off early weakness to trade moderately higher again yesterday. Thin cash trade on a wide range left the door open for bids on Thursday. At Western Livestock in Great Falls, cold cows topped out at $1.08. Bulls from $102 to $125 and heiferettes from $1.28 up to $165. The slaughter use in Sioux Falls this week, 10 to 30 cents lower from 40 to 70 cents per pound. Wheat markets endured another day of selling Thursday. An analyst point to rain down south as the cause, but supplies are still expected to be historically tight, leading some to call losses excessive. Here in the Northern Plains, better weather is expected to help planting progress, which has reassured futures traders. Well, thanks for tuning in to your Northern Ag Report. I'm Brett McRae. Have a good day.